Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So looking at the US 30, we've had another kind of dodgy formation at the bottom end of the downtrend, just consolidating just above 17,000, well let's just say it's 18,000, which also coincides with that 55 period SMA. Now we had some okay data come out of the US yesterday, which has caused the um, dollar to gain a little bit of momentum against some of the other majors. Um, especially dollar yen actually was just shy of 125 this morning so it's uh, pushed up quite nicely and obviously Japan to do five stage a little bit of a recovery in the back of that rally as well so where we are with the US 30 right now is 18,000 as potential support uh, and then 18,112 as potential resistance um, it's probably not the most exciting market to look at today. Looking at the UK, uh, looking very top heavy, coming up towards trend line, bottom end of this uh, symmetrical triangle formation, sorry, ascending triangle formation, trading below both moving averages, which is kind of telling, 69.64 a support. It's been below it yesterday and again today. Um, looking at the number day charts, UK 100, Germany 30, etc. look pretty weak. I wouldn't be surprised if we had a move back down towards the bottom of this uh, downtrend and, and if we break below that. 69.06, the next potential support. And if that gets broken, then you've got 67.71, which is quite a good bit further away. Uh, as ever, Greece is uh, going to be very popular. Um, we've got until Friday to come to, to some sort of deal for the 305 million tranche, uh, euro tranche for the IMF. Uh, so the ECB are working quite a lot with, uh, or the Eurozone members are working with Greece to try and get some sort of compromise in place. Um, that still failed to materialize. As obviously adding a lot of pressure on the euro as well. So looking at Japan to do five, decent day yesterday, still didn't break the highs that it had done uh, okay, earlier last week. Um, but the uptrend still looks intact with 2868 still being longer term potential resistance. Two thirds of the way there, maybe even three quarters. Uh, we've had a little bit of a dip today. We have been lower and it's pushing up a little bit higher. Uh, we might get a bit, a bit of additional momentum later on today. So looking at dollar yen, that's the, that's the real big. I guess FX story right now smashing uh, above potential resistance 124 spot 42 uh, to scale highs that have not been um, breached since 2002 so you're talking about multi-year highs uh, on this FX pair and uh, as we discussed before there is not another major uh, resistance level to probably all be up at 130 uh, and that is some, some significant Upwards potential there should the macroeconomic data continue to support, i.e. Japan more likely to cut and US more likely to raise rates. Uh, so maybe we're just at the start of something, but it has it is slightly overextended, so just do bear that in mind. So have a look in uh, uh, West Texas crude. Uh, we had a decent day on Friday, it kind of flatlined a little bit uh, yesterday. Similar pitches today, obviously dollar strength um, pushing it down. Uh, you do have a big OPEC meeting coming up on Friday as well, on the 5th of June. Um, where they're pretty much going to be discussing they do this every, every six months or so to discuss output levels. Saudi Arabia expected to dominate as they still want to gain market share over and above uh, extra costs for barrels of oil. So they're unlikely to cut production, but uh, it'll be an interesting meeting anyway just to get uh, the details at the end. And then just to finish up with GBP USD, so no, with gold. Gold's a very, very interesting one. So I had a huge rally at one point throughout the day, got completely pushed all the way back down, couldn't even post a positive candle, got pushed negative. This is a horrible technical candle to have, especially at the bottom of the downtrend 1186. So this would be a very long-legged uh, candle, uh, graveyard doji formation, huge. Um, and this would be seen to be very, very negative. But I'm actually quite surprised to see that gold has managed to keep its head above 1186, but it's quite an important potential support level because after that, you're looking at 1137 as the next longer term potential support level. So keeping an eye on, that, on those macro data events. If we just go back to yesterday, uh, it was PMI that came out um, a lot better than expectations. So you can see this one right here, the forecast of 52 came in 52.8, uh, but it's this one here, the Manufacturing Prices Index came in at 49.5 versus an estimate of 42.5, and that's what caused that late night rally in the US dollar and the drop off in gold. And today you've got um, German data, you've got Eurozone CPI, uh, PPI data, uh, and then all oh, industry, to be honest, it's Wednesday, you've got more data. You've got more Chinese PMI, uh, PMI you've got house pricing data, German PMI, Eurozone PMI, UK PMI all from market, retail sales, and um, ADP private payrolls, interest rate announcement, trade balance data, it's all about uh, all about Wednesday. That's going to be big for a lot of FX, FX pairs and gold as well. So finishing up with GBP USD and, uh, uh, sorry, Euro dollar right there. Um, we're in the middle of two ranges, hugging the 55 period SMA, 
One spot 11 potential resistance, one spot 0786 is potential support. Crossing the zero line with the MACD, uh, we are now into oversold territory with a slow stochastic. It's not yet giving a signal to, uh, to reverse round yet, whereas the RSI is still relatively neutral. Um, probably not a huge amount to, uh, to to look at on this FX pair for now. We need to find out what's happening with the Greece first. And then moving on to GBP USD, you can see that we had this reversal right back down to potential support one spot, 51.85. Very negative day yesterday for sterling as the dollar just gained a lot of momentum. Uh, and it looks to be, we're trying to have a small rebound this morning, but we're just waiting for the 55 period SMA to catch up. Um, other technicals are indicative of the fact that there could be further downside here. Break of this trend line is obviously quite significant, and the sell-off afterwards is um, the price action movement has been has been pretty decent as well. So a break below one spot 51.85 opens up one spot 48.13, uh, and that would be a significant reversal of fortunes from this rally that we had throughout April and May. So we already talked about the uh, economic data due today and tomorrow. It's really Wednesday when things take off. Uh, Jasper and Michael Houston have been doing some um, interesting bits of analysis on the chart forum, so make sure you get a chance to see that. Make insights part of the going forward, and guys, join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.